Hi, my name is Garrett Procknow. I'm a solution architect with Perspectium, and I'm here today to demo the follow transaction feature of our Observer product. Initially, I have the server response time averaged over the day reflected on the screen currently. One thing you'll notice is that the trend is currently right about a thousand milliseconds. So we're just over a second for the typical server response time portion of a transaction. Now, in this particular case, I'm going to demo the example of an individual user reporting a problem uh, that, that seems to be an anomaly. And so what I've done already is and I, I've enabled follow transaction for a particular user, in this case, Garrett Proc now. And I'm going to, to pull up some of those metrics and correlate them to, to help troubleshoot and identify if there's a particular time that that transaction is slowing for that user. So what I'll do is pull up initially just response time. I'll render the chart. And what you'll see is that there's a couple data points that we see initially that obviously are way above the typical trend line for response time. Um, in this case, we're looking at two transactions that appear to be over 10 seconds, right? That's 10,000 milliseconds. Um, on the server response time, so that's quite bad. What I want to do is initially, I'm also going to use the tool to help rule out and identify what potentially could be responsible for that. So I'm going to pull up SQL time, and I'm also going to pull up client network time, just to see if it was a networking issue, perhaps, or if, if it was a back-end database issue. Now, when I render the chart there, we'll see that these two lines have been added. One thing we'll notice right away is that both of these data points don't seem very significant in relation to the other graphs. So at this point, I, I have a good idea that, that it's not my overall server that's having the issue, that it's probably something with an individual form that I'm looking at. What I can do is click on my server response time to get pulled into the ServiceNow instance and look at the client transaction logs. So as I click in, I'm going to go ahead and match just on my user and then I'm going to sort descending on response time, which is actually already done. So what you'll notice is that there's one transaction that stands out in particular. We'll notice quickly that the business rule time seems to be the culprit here and that the SQL time is very healthy. The other settings that we notice like client script time and browser time are both very small. So from here what I would do is actually go into my business rules to go try to evaluate what potentially could go wrong and get to the root cause of, of why that business rule is so slow. So as I pull up my business rules definitions I'm going to search on the table that I identified in my client transaction log, which was actually this use slow table, and I'll see that there's one active business rule. And it happens to be called slow business rule. When I click into the business rule, I'm going to go and pull up what it's actually doing. We'll see that it's it's a before business rule that's set to run on query, and it calls a GS dot sleep for 10 seconds. Obviously at this point this is a simple example to correlate that problem, but this shows that the ability of observer and follow transaction to identify root cause and to isolate the onset of an issue at the source. Thank you for watching.